Hey guys, who are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Virgo. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. Now I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind, so please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation, but please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or if parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. So we're just using this deck today. This is the Light Sears Tarot. So we'll get straight into the reading. Angels of Love and Light, we please have clear and concise messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do they need to know in relation to love for this week, please, and thank you. Now, guys, um, this is going to be for the first week of September, this reading, but I'm actually filming this on the 27th of August. Now, I do believe today is actually your new moon in Virgo. So I hope you guys um, have had a happy kind of new moon and you've planted your seeds of intentions of what you would like for the next cycle. But happy new moon to you guys. And also, happy birthday to you, Virgo, as well. I hope you are enjoying your birthday season. So happy belated birthday to those of you, if I've not had a chance to say happy birthday, wish you happy birthday. And obviously, happy birthday to those of you who are um, going to be celebrating and experiencing birthdays later on this season, okay? Sending love and light your way, okay, guys? So let's get into this reading. Just cutting up the deck for you now. Now, I don't know about you, but, um, well, obviously, I mean, I'm just doing this reading now and I'm feeling all of this heat. So I feel like there's a lot that's going on in this connection. OK, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Interesting. I feel like somebody wants to take a load off, like they want to um, offload a lot of stress that they have that's going on around them right now. They may feel very, um, I'm getting very much an ill health for some. Um, they haven't felt the best version of themselves, but they are working on it and getting their working on it. And I feel like this person is just wanting to um, let go of some sort of unwanted um, commitment that they've got going on in their life here. They could be closing of a cycle. And also they have a lot of stress here with the Five of Swords. I feel like they're just so done with this. They've gained clarity here about a particular situation in their life, okay? With that Ace of Swords, they want justice, they want balance. You could be dealing with a Libra or your person has Libra uh, placements or you do, but there is a sense of karmic balancing coming into play with the Six of Pentacles, the Justice, the Ace of Swords, and obviously with the Queen of Pentacles after there may have not been very much hope um, with your connection I'm getting in, in the past. Just seen 411 on the clock, so you could be seeing of those numbers. You could also have Aquarius placements, so your person does, okay? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, or they could have been dealing with an Aquarius and things didn't necessarily work out with that um, situation, okay? With a karmic connection, so um, a karmic partner, karmic ex type of thing. But let's see what we have here for Virgo anyway. What can we get here, please, for Virgo? For this week okay interesting so we have the four of cups coming out sideways with the lovers sideways gemini energy and the four of pentacles in reverse so somebody is feeling very frustrated they're feeling um a bit bored with their life basically and they want to drop certain things that aren't serving for them anymore they want to open up in relation to love they may have opened up to someone in the past that they had you know trusted but I'm feeling predominantly um, they've shown of their true colours here and they're now letting go of this person. I feel like whoever your love interest is dealing with, they've tried to hold on to your person to re-spark of something with them. But they know that um, it's not right for them to be in this connection and I feel like your person is concerned because they want to have a partnership with you but there has been a lot of interferences to do with the third party I'm getting in one one way one shape or form of another i'm getting oh it was really hot okay oh, gosh right what's going on queen of cups beautiful this person has a lot of love for you they do care about you 
They want to come forward in relation to love with the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups. I feel like this person looks up to you in some sort of way. They feel like you're very much in your feminine energy, okay? So I feel like you've done a lot of healing from the past. Maybe some sort of issues from your childhood, from potential rejection. Um, I'm getting abandonment issues. I'm getting mother wounds, father wounds, um, that type of thing. I feel like whatever healing that you have done um, is really opening up the doors of communication with you and this person specifically, but also um, other love connections as well, if that's something that you're interested in, in relation to new soulmates. There are a lot of people that are seeing you. I'm, sh I'm getting shine brightly right now, okay? Shine brightly. And this person, as I say this, look at that. Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. You have plenty of other people wanting to come forward and give you a von offer. You know, they don't want to hang around anymore. Pisces energy in reverse, okay? Ace of Pentacles, lots of people see you as their future spouse, you know? The one that they could have a family with or settle down with or have something concrete with. A solid relationship, a two-way love. Just saw 7-11 on the clock, so you could be seeing those numbers, but very strong water placements, okay? I feel like this person is trying to strategize on how to come forward and give you a proposal of sorts with an offer. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but I'm getting a strong indication that, you know, ideally this is what this person would want to do, okay? They want to heal the connection with you here with the Four of Swords. They do want to show off their love for you, but I feel this person could be struggling a little bit with opening up, you know, maybe they struggle to connect with their emotions a little bit more than maybe you do. You may be getting more comfortable with your emotions. I feel this person's on the way back around into your life, very much so. I feel like you're very much kind of wearing your own crown right now, okay? You kind of know your purpose of what you're doing with your life. I feel like you're feeling a lot more comfortable within yourself feeling more settled in your own skin, you know which direction that you're wanting to take, okay? You're opening your heart up to other opportunities in relation to love and other creative, um, I'm getting projects, okay? Some of you could be um, a healer of sorts, maybe a tarot reader, okay? You're very much out of your head. You know, you've had a lot of doubts and insecurities and upset in the past. You may have overly given to certain people, places and things and you didn't necessarily get your sense of equal reciprocity in relation to that to do with energy and I feel like you are transforming in some sort of way. You know, I feel like you've gone through um, a lot of spiritual lessons and I feel like there is something that you're doing as of right now um, which is really being of a huge benefit for you. So keep doing what you're doing because it's actually getting you out of this kind of feeling trapped sense of mind, mindset type of thing, okay? I feel like your love interest is wanting to come clean and open up to you um, about how they feel, but potentially they are having difficulties with expressing oneself. They may feel like all hope is lost to do with your connection because of something or someone else that they were dealing with from their past. That. They've tried to, um, I'm getting escape for a long time. They may have been in a sense of victimization about it. They may have thought that they were powerless to make particular changes. But um, I feel like this person views you as someone that they could trust and that they could open up to. And if they were to, in a sense, come forward towards you and show off their more vulnerable side, um, you would most likely be that kind of shoulder to cry on. And this person is really needing that at this time. They know that you have love for them and they certainly have love for you. But what I'm feeling predominantly is that this person may be just needing of a friend at this time. You know, they have this love for you, this desire for you. They want to pursue you romantically, etc. I'm very much getting all of that. But there could be something else that's going on in their life right now where they feel like they're not quite fully able to follow through in the way that they wish to. Um, to have off something more solid. So they're holding back right now with the strength card in reverse, Leo energy. They could be just battling their own fears. Maybe they've seen you as some sort of role model in a sense that like you've gone through your own sense of fears, okay? You've addressed those, you've been patient with yourselves, you're very kind, compassionate, nurturing, loving, like energy I'm getting. Um, you have a beautiful aura about you. Um, 
And I feel like you're just magnetic to a lot of people right now and opportunities. And I feel that this person is getting ready to come forward towards you, as I say that with the chariot, Cancer's energy, okay? They want to make, um, I'm getting huge changes in their life. And I'm getting for themselves, but also for you. I just saw 11-11 on the clock. So you could be dealing with a very high level soulmate. For some of you, even a divine counterpart, twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine energy, okay? What else can we have here, please, and thank you? Strength in reverse, Leo energy. Let's get a few more cards on the table. Yep, okay. That chariot definitely wanted to come through. Queen of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. And I'll take one more. One more, please, and thank you for Virgo. There could have been a lot of people kind of um, interfering with this connection. I feel like your person will eventually say to you, what's what? The moon in reverse, Pisces energy. They're definitely going to open up and reveal something that's been going on. Something that has been hidden in the dark here is coming to light, but you intuitively know that already. I've just seen 12-12 on the clock, okay? So 12-12, you add the 12s up, you get 3, okay? So 33, you could be seeing lots of 3s as well. And we have the High Priestess as Cancer's energy, okay? You're very intuitive here, very much the healer. Um, potentially some of you are psychic, some of you are readers or healers of sorts, um, counsellors. You know, you may be developing of your spiritual gifts at this time. You could be very much more into the occult, um, exploring the sense of spirituality. You are interested in relation to love, but I feel like you're you're staying quite reserved at this time, okay? Um, bear with me as I just move up the cards for you. Yes. I feel like for some of you, um, you are interested in love, but you could be choosing to stay single at this time until, you know, um, I'm getting the right opportunity comes along. You know, someone is going to show that they're going to be steadfast here and loyal and, you know, it'd be worthy of you kind of settling down and having a proper long term commitment with someone. So I feel until the time being, until this person is getting ready to open up, as it were, and move themselves forward on their sense of own free will to say to you, look, um, I do have love and care for you. Um, I'm having, I'm getting a tricky time of it right now, a difficult time of it, trying to separate myself from someone or something from the past that has been, um, I'm getting exhausting here. This person could um, be dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex, someone that they may have children with here. They could also be going through something financial or something legal that um, they are tied to with this person or a particular place or a particular job or etc. Or they have children with this person, potentially. And I feel like they know that they've made, um, they feel like they've made the wrong decision, okay? Um, I'm also getting that this sense, you know the bigger picture, that if this person was to come forward and say, look, I made the wrong decision, but you have this higher kind of sense of enlightenment, which I feel like you do, you kind of already know in the grander scheme of things that certain things were meant to play out the way that they did for a, a higher purpose. And it wasn't necessarily that this person made the wrong decision, um, but they just had a particular lesson that they needed to learn and they needed to go through some sort of karma, okay? And I'm getting from like a past life here. They needed to correct something from their past, their past life, um, in order to be able to break a contract of sorts to then be free and available to come forward towards you. I feel like your kind of, you know, spiritual eyes are very much open to, to what this connection actually is, okay? You know, I feel like your love interest is potentially dealing with the sense of um, co-parenting right now for some. I feel like they could have been struggling for a very long time you know, they haven't had the necessarily the help um, of someone being on their side, someone being on like a team player, um, a support system to them. And I feel like that is what they've always wanted. They wanted that strong sense of security and stability within oneself and within their kind of own environment. And I feel like they wanted to build with someone. Um, I'm getting make a name for themselves. So I feel like this person's very driven here. They wanted to make a name for themselves. 
I'm also getting the sense that this person has a high amount of respect for you. I'm getting a sense of rags to riches for some reason. So I feel like, you know, you've had a trying time in your past. You've had to overcome a lot here. Um, I feel like you've kept a lot of it to yourself. You haven't had many people to be able to confide in. I feel like you've dealt with a lot on your own and you're coming across as very strong. And maybe this person is a little bit unsure as to whether they can be as strong as you and get out of their own mess. Um, as much as you got out of your own mess, most likely from something from your past that may have you know, held you back and you've overcome these particular obstacles. And I feel like you are feeling much more freer within oneself and you know you're you're basically protecting of your energy at this time and this person is wanting to actually fight for this connection but maybe they don't feel like they had the fight within them before to have done this or to complete something very challenging but they want to show their loyalty to you okay i feel that potentially if this person has been married in the past okay i feel like there's a strong you know, sense of this person would actually want to kind of remarry if they've already been re uh, married, you know, remarry you most likely here. Um, or maybe you have been married in the past and you were a little bit unsure about getting remarried again and maybe you're coming around to the idea, you're opening up your heart space, you know. Um, I'm getting a strong sense of healing your kind of heart chakra. Maybe you're really focusing on, um, on that. And I'm also getting the sense of speaking up for your own truth, as it were, okay? I feel like if this person comes back around in your life to reconcile, to reunite with you, to have a union of sorts, um, I feel like you may have been quite angry with this person from the past because there may have been a few harsh words or the sense of a lie may have been told or a disagreement or you just didn't see eye to eye with this person. But I feel like you've really transmuted a lot of the negative energy that you had got or from this previous situation. I feel like you've really channeled it and you're really kind of, um, you know, moving on in a very much more positive way, which is really beautiful. Yeah, this person wants to bring balance to you. They know that they tried to avoid certain... Um, I'm getting avoid certain decisions. They didn't want to have the sense of a conversation with you in the past, but they know that they can't avoid the inevitable. And if they do want this love relationship with you, which I feel like they very much do, okay, they want this kind of deeper loving commitment with you, then they know what they need to do. They can't hold back from you anymore. They have to kind of stand up for themselves and voice of their opinion or voice of what's actually been bothering them or whatever upsets that they have with someone else or with something else and also kind of vocalize to you about what they want with you in a love relationship and I feel like you may have been a little bit scared at one point to have done this because you may have felt like well I'm potentially gonna like miss out on my person if I don't fully speak of my truth but I feel like you know how Im important it is to be true and authentic and genuine and as, as long as you deliver what you feel like you need to say to this person in a particular manner where it comes across as you're saying of everything that you're wanting to and you're not kind of you know, neglecting of yourself by holding back certain things and you say it, it's the way you say it type thing I feel like this person will only just appreciate you and be ever so more grateful for you in the way that you're conducting of yourself because I feel like whoever they've been dealing with in their past was very immature, very petty, very insensitive, quite cold. Um, they didn't have that sense of affection. They didn't show of themselves in a particular light. Um, and I feel like your person um, just realized most likely that they were dealing with someone who wanted to manipulate and control them but your person may have been the main provider in a previous relationship or a situation they may have overly given to this person and they didn't receive very much back. So if there has been that in, you know, imbalance in your connection, this person is now appreciating what you most likely went through with you and them. And they're now starting to see and understand on a deeper level as to how you truly feel because they're experiencing it elsewhere with someone else, okay? Now, I'm also picking up here, guys, yeah, more Pisces energy here with the hangman in reverse. Very strong water placements here, guys. So, 
You could have a lot of water placements, or your person does, okay? Three of Cups with the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant in reverse, well, and the Fool and the Star in reverse with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're coming across as very confident, very attractive and magnetic at this time. You're ready for a new beginning. Um, yeah, I feel you're very much in your feminine energy, but you know how to put somebody in their place if it's necessary. I feel like you've been a tower moment to this person um in a sense because they realize how much actually you know they do love you okay um, especially if you've been um, absent out of this person's life for quite some time i feel like this person is realizing that they want to have a second chance with you and actually they didn't realize how much they wanted a second chance with you until certain things may have been revealed to this person okay so Aries energy, we have Aquarius, I feel this person, um, Taurus as well, I feel that this person is knowing that they have to break free from someone else or something else if they are to kind of dive deep into their emotions and express of themselves and have this loving relationship or connection with you. They know that there's something very different about you and your connection. It's out of this world. It's not something that's the norm here. It's very much unconventional in some sort of way. I feel for some of you, you could be dealing with the same sex connection, but I'm, I'm just getting that as for some. I don't believe that's for everyone, okay? Um, I really truly feel that this person is wanting just to embrace their life and to kind of enjoy the next chapter of their life. And I feel like this person is wanting to kind of grab it with both hands and they know what they need to do, but they need to take you know, practical steps to make themselves, you know, um, available for you emotionally, in a sense, you know, I feel like this person may have, you know, rushed into things in the past, but they know that they can't do that with you. And they can't do that with the next part of their, their new future, as it were, they can't just kind of be hasty about certain things, they have to be more measured. Um, they see you as very much as someone that's very like in control of oneself. Like you've really worked on your emotions here. I'm really getting that, you know, I'm really getting that. But this person does have a lot of love for you, but you have a lot of love for this person most likely as well, okay? But the love that they feel for you is so different to what they've ever experienced with anyone else. So I feel predominantly if some of you are asking the question of like, does this person love me? Yes, they absolutely do. And does this person feel for me the same way that they did for someone else? And the answer is that they feel for you more than they've ever felt for this other person. They've most likely never been in love before. And the person that you're dealing with is in love with you, but they haven't shown of this to you because they thought that they had love for someone and they most likely did for a previous connection or situation, of course, but it's just not the same as being in love with someone. And I feel like your person is learning of the difference between loving someone and being in love with someone. And I feel like you had to be in separation from this person for them to have that sense of appreciation of how special and un unique and rare your connection is, okay? Well, I'm getting here eights as well. You could be seeing eight, 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 eight. Um, I'm getting seven, seven, seven. I feel like this person's had an awakening that they're dealing with something karmic in nature. You've also known for a very long time that this person's been dealing with something karmic. Um, I'm getting two, two, two as well. As much as I've been seeing of the other num the numbers that I read to you kind of out earlier. But there have been plenty of people who have tried to kind of, in a sense, distract your person and steer them in the opposite direction so that they don't come forward towards you. There have been blocks in this, but I feel like these particular blocks are being overcome at this time, okay? You may not necessarily see of it in the physical, it may not look like this person's coming forward, but actually a lot in the sense of the, the 5D, the spiritual kind of ethereal realm, as it were, to do with this, um, I feel like you know that there is a lot of transformation taking place. This person may even confess to you that they've dreamed about you. You may dream of this person. There has been complications in relation to this, a lot of illusions, but I feel like it's going to be lifted. I feel like you will very much get the answers that you are seeking. But it's 
important to kind of recognize that you've actually been seeking a lot of the answers with, within yourself you know rather than necessarily needing the receipts or the external validation from this person to, to give you of the information that you know in a deep down within you of what's what's actually going on but yes obviously it would be nice for this person to in a sense give you that sense of confirmation or that sense of closure that you've been looking for um but i feel this person is wanting of their freedom they're wanting of their freedom. They want to be liberated from someone else or something else. Um, they're dealing with someone who's very much clingy onto them, very codependent, and they don't want them to kind of break free because in a sense, they have this intuitive hunch or nudge, as it were, in acknowledging that they're pretty much breaking up with this person so that they could come forward towards you, okay? And obviously they're trying to do whatever they can to kind of prevent this ending from happening but it is it is happening or you know it's been happening for a long time but this person sees you as their future spouse the future mother or the father of their children building of a family or creating of a family blending of families or if you're not able to have children or vice versa as i'm reading energy rather than gender or sex i feel like there's a sense of family here in the sense of you know potentially pets or fur babies that type of thing just having a really, you know, beautiful unit uh, with one another in whatever you kind of, you know, think and feel of what family is, okay? But anyway, guys, this I feel like this was a really, truly beautiful reading, but we do have strong cancer placements here, lots of water. We have Leo, we have Pisces specifically. Um, we do have fire, we do have air, um, earth as well, and, and um, yeah air and earth yeah so pretty much everyone is here but obviously as i read the placements earlier you guys will kind of know whether that resonates within your chart your persons but that's going to be the end of the reading so i hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as i've enjoyed reading for you today if you have enjoyed this reading and you did fancy supporting myself and the channel there are donation links now available so thank you so much to those of you who've already donated i greatly appreciate you guys um, even if you do not financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe and comment down below and I'll eventually get back to you on those comments, guys. So thank you so much for those. Um, but if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up, the like button, as it really does help get the messages out there to people who may um, need to see them at this time. So thank you all so much. Um, as I really do appreciate you guys for doing that, so thank you. And also, again, um, happy birthday, Virgo. Um, I hope you are enjoying the rest of your birthday season and we'll speak to you very soon. Thank you for being here. Sending love and light your way. Take care. Bye, guys.